Yes, what's happening? Let me show you a full termination for this GT1 Incomer. And as you can see, the manufacturer's instruction is a Nexon's T-boot. So I've started off measuring the bushing. I'm measuring back 285 mil and sanding the insulation by 65 mil. This is to help create a watertight seal. And now wipe it with a PF wipe. I'm now going to use the US 15 Pro Max. And I start with a circumferential cut. And then twist it to a spiral cut. This is a really useful tool for in tight spaces and for removing thick insulation. And then jab the hole to full knife in the end just to flick it out. You'll see that this now comes off really easy. Remove the water barrier and remove the copper binding tape. And again, another PF wipe on the outer sheath. Now install the water mastic and bend the copper screen wires back. Now re-measure where the bushing mark is and cut it. As per manufacturer's instructions, mark 65 mil with tape. Now this is to help aid when you slide the stress control tube on. Now using the Ripley USO2, remove the semicon down to 30 mil. Tie it off and send it. And remove the strippings. Now remove the primary insulation with the Alrock LH2. Set this to the depth of the lug. And remove strippings and tool. Now add a small chamfer with the Ripley US 10. Lovely compact tool. Tape up the end of the conductor. Give the insulation a clean and then add some grease. The grease is supplied with the termination. Now slide the stress control tube all the way down to your 65 mark. Then prep the end of the conductor and slide on the lug. Shear it off, give it a good clean and apply some more grease. Apply the grease to the stress control boot, the lug and the T-body. Make sure you slide the boot face in the right way. Now that's two thirds of the job complete. Now wrestle the termination onto the bushing, add the cleat and then dress the earths in. When I dress the earths in, we ping them straight and then use one of the wires to wrap around. And that right there is a full set of Nexon's T-boots.